Hey y'all, welcome back to the vlog. I have um, a couple updates I need to share with you guys. Um, these are not the life updates that I posted I would share, but I do have two of those, which has actually turned into three. So um, I'll keep you posted on that. But um, first update I know I owe you is my Kiss Press On Nails. Um, I did these a week ago on Monday. It's now Wednesday. So these are just the stick on like tab, um, like sticky tab nails and they've definitely like grown out. So, um, what's frustrating me is this part is getting stuck in my hair. Um, and that's probably like an application error. I didn't put that part first and then bring the nail down. I just stuck it on there. But anyway, I'm very hard on my nails. Um, I work out every day um, and I type all day every day. So these have held up incredibly well. I'm super impressed and I would definitely use these again. Um, I don't know if part of it is because of the like little TikTok trick I tried where you heat up the nail or the sticky part of the nail with a hairdryer first. I don't know if that's part of why these have lasted so long or if it's just the sticky. I don't know. But would definitely recommend these. Um, very impressed. So the next update is my aura ring. I have been loving this thing. Um, and I got my best like readings the other night. Um, I, you know, I've mostly wanted it to, um, like track my sleep and my stress, but it's been really interesting to look at like my heart rate and my resilience um, and I mean the activity. I have actually found that it does a pretty good job with activity tracking. So right now um, my Aura app says I'm at 5,635 steps for the day and my Apple Watch says 5,640. So they are pretty much dead on. Um, <laughs> Sorry, there's someone outside. Um, I think the dog distraction is gone. Um, I will say I do think the Aura could do a better job of like activity detection. Um, it has identified like my HIIT workouts and walks, but I wonder if it's talking to my Apple Watch to identify the HIIT workout. Um, I know Aura has made a lot of improvements around automatic um, activity detection, so maybe that's part of it too, I don't know. Um, but I will say, I haven't really had any complaints. It lasts um, about six or seven days on a full charge. Um, it's still in pretty good shape. I did get like a little silicone cover to put over it when I work out, because I have like dumbbells and things in my hands. Um, and I don't want to scratch it up too much. Um, so yeah, overall I'm impressed. I think I'm still like learning about like how to do, like what to do with what it tells me. So for example, if it tells me, um, you know, I need to work on my stress throughout the day. I'm like, okay, what does that mean? Or what does it mean if I have a high readiness score or a low readiness score? Just things like that. Um, obviously the sleep is the easiest to interpret and you can make, you know, pretty simple adjustments with your sleep. Um, but yeah, I'm really loving it. And, um, yeah, I've been wearing it on this finger. Haven't noticed any like difference or like anything that's concerning about my, um, stats, the data. My uncle wears it on this ring finger. My mom wears it here. So I'm not sure it matters, although Aura says it's best to wear it on this finger. I don't know. Um, but anyway, those are the two updates I have for you right now. And um, the other kind of update is I'm having a garage sale this weekend. So my mom's coming over tonight and we're going to go through and mark a bunch of stuff. And um, yeah, get that all hung up and ready to go for Thursday and Friday. Um, so anyway, I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm tired. Um, we, I have been working pretty much all evening. Um, I have two more containers upstairs that need to come down. 
And then let me show you everything we've done. Okay, so it probably doesn't seem like a lot, but we have all this stuff over here. I am selling those two pack or two cow pack items because they're my least favorite. Um, all these clothes, some random things, lots of shoes, paintings, clothing, makeup, hair stuff. So, yeah, I'm ready for bed. We're ready to go at the garage sale, right, Lily? Hey, y'all. Day two of the garage sale is complete. I'm exhausted. My feet hurt. I'm tired of sitting, although I'm sitting right now. Um, <laughs> and tired of talking to people. But we had a lot of people today and sold a good amount of stuff and made a good amount of money so I'm feeling pretty good about how the whole sale has gone anything that's left tomorrow we're just gonna open up for a couple hours and anything that's left tomorrow if there's anything you know that I feel like I can sell on Poshmark I might do that but anything else will probably just go to Goodwill so we will see how tomorrow goes hoping for another good couple hours um, I am going to do my nails tonight. I got some Olive and June press-ons, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, I took my Kiss nails off yesterday. They came off super easily. My nails feel like they're in good shape. Um, so I put those on, and they lasted about a week and a half before I was, like, before they were making me crazy. So I would definitely recommend those. Check out this vlog if, um, you haven't seen those yet. And, <laughs> um... Right now I'm making dog food and making my own dinner. And yeah, um, I'll show you my nails here in a little bit, but that is the update tomorrow. I'm so excited. Um, one of my best friends, um, I have like two, maybe three best friends, probably three. Um, but DJ is coming tomorrow and I'm so excited. I haven't seen her in months way too long um but she's coming tomorrow and we're gonna go to the tap that beer fest so that will be really fun and yeah so i'm looking forward to seeing her um and i'm gonna do my nails tonight and just chill out because i can't be bothered to do anything else the nails are done oops sorry they're pretty long <laughs> i don't know these are supposed to be a medium length so We'll see how long I can function, but these are the Olive and June Instant Press-On Manny. And this is medium length, almond shape, color iridescent pink. So they are really pretty. I do really like them. I am tired today. I did not sleep well because I had to get up early to coach at my gym today. And I need to change my battery. Hold on. I just came upstairs because I wanted to show you. Let me set you down. I got some new CalPAC luggage. Um, this is the Hue front pocket carry-on luggage. So it has this pocket in front that unzips. And there's like a laptop like sleeve in here. So pretty cool. Um, I also got, where are they? I ordered some of the small and medium compression packing cubes. So I'm excited to try these on our upcoming trip. Um, let me know if you want to review, but yeah, I'm super excited about these and really looking forward to packing with these. I probably should have gotten the large too. This is the medium, but I just thought I'd try these for now and kind of see how they work. So let me know if you want to review on those. Hey y'all. Okay. It's Saturday. Day three of the garage sale is complete. We just opened up for a couple hours this morning and nobody came by. A couple of people did, but they didn't buy anything because we were pretty picked over. But anyway, 
I've got so much to do today. So I'm going to get started on that. My friend is coming. We're going to uh, tap that, the beer fest. And yeah, so here we go. Busy Saturday. Monday morning and I need to wrap up this vlog. Um, weird timing, but I didn't vlog anything yesterday because I didn't really do anything. <laughs> um, hit up the pool and that was about it. Um, so anyway, I realized I had not given you all um, the life update yet. And this first update has kind of turned into two. So I guess I really have three. Um, yeah, so anyway. Um, first life update is my sister is pregnant and I'm going to be an aunt. I'm so, 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 so excited. Um, she's going to have a girl and I cannot wait to meet her. I've already bought like some onesies and things. Um, so yeah, I'm so, 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 so excited to have a little niece. Um, and that leads us to the second update. This one isn't really a life update, but it's an update. Um, so because she's pregnant, she wants to go on a baby moon. And, um, you know, there's a whole lot of things around like why it's happening when it is and like who. But anyway, um, my mom and I are going to go on a little baby moon with her. So um, her husband is um, at like a military training. So um, anyway, that is why. So we're super excited for that. We will be going to the Virgin Islands in July. Um, and we went to the Virgin Islands for Christmas in 2019. So literally right before COVID um, and haven't been back since then. So it'll be really nice to go back. We're going to stay at the same place, not exactly in the same condo, but the same, um, like, uh, building, facility, resort, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Um, but yeah, so stay tuned for all of the um, baby update videos and um, the travel videos that are coming. I still have a third life update, which I'm going to talk about in the next vlog. So make sure you check that out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.